I'm going to show you the quick way that I candle my eggs on the 18th day after being in a Nurture Right 360 incubator. You technically have seven minutes to candle every egg inside with the built-in candler that is up here. So normally, if you turn it on, it will stay on for seven minutes. Uh, because I'm doing it by video to show you and it's now around 5 p.m. so the light is definitely not bright in here. I will do it seven minutes in the background which is theoretically three music videos that I can hear in the background on the TV. So here we go. I normally just prop it on its edge to kind of keep the heat to the ones that are there. I have my candle light here. That's pretty full. There we go. We have life there. So we're going to leave him there. We're going to start over here out of order. That one looks scrambled. Let's put it at the same time. It's definitely scrambled. I'm pulling him to the side. I will put that one in its hole. That one's definitely a keeper. You can see the white. You can see the air sac at the top. Camera's shaking because I'm touching it. There we go. Trying to get it to focus for you. I'm gonna keep that one in there. These are the cream leg bars that I bought at the fair. Oh, this one's got veins in it. I'm hoping it'll focus. That's got veins in there. Oh, we have movement, we have life, yes. Okay. dark. Let's turn around. It's a good air sac. When the chick breaks through the membrane, he's got that much oxygen to live on until he pips through the shell and then continues to break through the shell. That one's scrambled, see? It's, it didn't make it. And that's probably just due to travel to the poultry show. Yeah, see that one's bad too. Travel to the poultry show and just shooken up in the car, tossing it around, not thinking anything about it. This one's got a good air sac, but I don't see any veins. That might be one right there. It's very hard to tell. I'm gonna put him over here. I'm going to take this last cream leg bar over here on the edge. All right. Oh, I see veins in here. I think you can see that on camera. There's veins right there. There's movement right there, so that's good. All right, let's see if I can see into these chocolates. All right, we got a good egg sac, air sac in there. I don't even go any farther than that. She lays some pretty dark chocolate, black copper moran mix, and her daughter is hot chocolate. So yeah, she's not pure, but she does do a dark. And there's veins in that one, I can see that, so that's good. All right, now we're gonna go to the back side real quick. Tip this up, lean it up against the wall. Okay, I see veins in that one. We'll keep doing with three more cream like that one did not. Definitely died in the middle. See how it's, you can see how it's scrambled. So that's four that are bad out of the dozen. Five. 
And it's sad because you pay a nice pretty penny for some fertile eggs. Eight. So that leaves me six bad and six good, 50-50. Not good odds. So that's my, I did this one already, right? Yeah, two, let's do this one. Three, four, I'm just looking for an air sac. Five, ooh, look at that one, six. Seven, I already did this guy. Eight, I already did that guy. Nine, and that one you can actually see movement right there. Ten. So out of all these brown ones over here on this side, the, the Frodo egg, which is Swedish flower hen egg, all the way around, I have a 100% that are fertilized and growing. Now it's up to them to continue their growth and turn into an egg. And I guess that's a huge player of picking up eggs from a poultry show rather than actually having them in the back of your farm and you carry them here. So right now what I did is I filled up, let's see if I can move this slowly. I filled up the water trough right here so that they would have enough moisture and the moisture content up until about this day, I usually keep about 40 and it's been anywhere between 35 38 so now we're at 44 this temperature right here will be 99.5 when it's done when it reheats up so that tells you how many degrees it's lost just for the small opening that i have i usually set up some type of these are bean bags that i usually keep my candler light on i usually keep something over here so that when you have the duds that you got to take out they don't roll off and hit the floor because they stink worse than anything you ever thought of. So we're going to go ahead tonight and turn the turner off, which that's this light right here that the these will rotate. I will unplug it in the back so that there'll be no electricity to it. And then we'll be looking at hatching on Saturday. And it looks like we're going to have six cream leg bars, 11 rooster roulettes, and this one from Frodo, which is the Swedish flower hen. And we'll see if that one actually hatches as a Swedish flower hen because she's picked her mate. So I'm hoping her mate is still the Swedish flower hen. And that's the one that was attacked by coyote and lost all of her toes on one foot, so. If you have any questions, please ask below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. The numbers that are on here, according to the man that I purchased these from, these were laid on February the 14th, and I numbered all the eggs so I knew which which ones were hatching. Like this is egg six, egg eight, seven, six. I can't turn it. Let me see. <clears throat> Every egg had a number, so just so I can kind of count to see what I had and which ones I kind of lost. I lost four, nine, two, ten, three, and one. So we'll see what we have on Saturday. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day.